So I am obsessed with this guy. You can go get him on SoundCloud. It's D dash D dash J dash Kid. I'm gonna. Uh, huh? out there. I'm gonna he's, have he's to Ryan check him up. I'll take yeah. anything that comes out of Kansas that seriously. So I'm gonna have to like hear it firsthand. He's pretty cool. Okay. Side note: Hey, DJ Ryan Kid, DJ Kid, uh, if you would like to sponsor us, <laughs> you would like to sponsor us. We need. We need some more music in between. You know, what, you know what we will do? I will I will actually have him do a mix for us. You want to do that? That would be cool. Honestly, what, yeah. what are you obsessed with right now as far as music? And we'll see if he can mix it for us. I'm Ooh, so cool. old school. That'd be really cool, though. I'm so old school, but I do. Okay, well, we're going to tag him on Instagram, and we're going to call him out on some type of mix, because he's getting back into it. He's coming out of retirement. That's I mean, he's like he was out of it for like five years, and he's <laughs> super popular. He's retirement. He's 30. What? Retirement. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. That's not a thing. That's not a thing. DJ Kid. He cashed out his fidelity DJ, account. We're going to tag like, you on Instagram, and um, we want to see what you can do for us. I want to see that LinkedIn account. Okay. All right. Any semi- <laughs> Cass, every time you take a drink, <laughs> it, it looks like it down. hurts all the way down. I would just be taking oh, shots at this point. I probably should have switched. We are going to be starting our cleanse. Go cleanse. So Go ahead and hit us up at it got weird pod at gmail.com. Obviously, <laughs> listeners. This whole episode is just going to be us asking people to hit us up about sponsoring. <laughs> hit us up and sponsor us. Hit us up. Please. And sponsor us. <laughs> I feel like we should get like a cardboard, you know, piece of cardboard and write that shit on there. And I post promise we'll Instagram. make it worth it. Um, we'll talk about your if shit we like on our you. podcast. If we like we you. you. If we like you. Mama needs um, At sheets. some point, I forgot. <laughs> yeah. Um, my weird obsession. Um, <laughs> you're going to love this, guys. Um, State Farm mechanical and equipment coverage okay my ac okay. went out and, and mm-hmm. i know and my that's awesome terrible. agent was like well let me know if there's anything we can do and i'm like it's my fucking ac that's never covered and he's like i'm pretty sure you added the extra rider for mechanical systems and equipment and i'm like okay and i and my um <laughs> okay. ac was going to be like 9400 dollars yeah. And I'm like, what? well, it can't hurt. They're like, the deductible is 500. I'm like, if you're going to give me anything, I'm down. And I just got a call today that they are covering it and they are analyzing what my payout's going to be. But to fix the situation instead of replace it was going to be like 12,000. And so, hey, State Farm, if you would like to sponsor. <laughs> us it got weird pod at gmail.com um like a good neighbor state farm is there thank you so much for the extra writer that i thought would never come in handy but did and yeah finally nice i used them once before too side state note farm's i have like, state farms like netflix they could sneeze and finance us for a couple of years too they could hey, hey aaron company, rogers right? liberty discount Mitchell. double check this I'm down. That was the right company, right? It was. Uh, it was. I don't know these. I don't live in America anymore. I have eight so percent. I have eight percent on my computer. Okay, well, Side get note. your power source. Up, well, okay, I'll have to disconnect my big screen, which will be tragic for my visual appeal. So we can't see that face every time you drink the vinegar. No, you'll be able to see it. You just won't be on my... So you're connected to a side monitor, which is my big, beautiful monitor. So you guys are like blown up. You don't need to see us. We just need to see you. Go ahead. Well, I need to see my... I need to see my fucking show notes because they're going to be reading on this episode. (laughs) Because it's either my mic or my power source. So semi-weird. Here we go. Do you have anything? I don't know if you do. Um. While you think about that, uh, semi-weird, I had an appointment. I had a client that wanted to meet me. He did not show up for the first meeting. 
And then he said, well, I can be there. And I waited 40 minutes. He did not show up. Then he called my assistant. She said, well, she can meet you there in about 20 minutes. He said, fine, I'll wait here. I show up. Homeboy was not there. Um, And I was like, where are you? And he goes, oh, mm. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, I heard that fuck. So, um, the guy was still not there when I got back to the appointment. And I sent him a message as the weather was getting bad and said, Hey, uh, where are you? Ten minutes after our appointment, which I was on, on time for the second appointment as I was the first. And he goes, Oh, no one was there, so I didn't wait. When my assistant had said she was there for 40 minutes and she'll be back at 4.30, I got there and in our area we have some pretty bad storms and there was a storm coming through, but I still was committed to the client. And then I'm waiting there for 20 minutes and I get a message saying, sorry, tornado alert, I'll just meet you tomorrow. And I'm at my appointment and now I have to find the closest area to take shelter, which was a bathtub in a single family home close by. And I hang out and I'm like, if I die, this motherfucker better run because I have his phone number and my husband is with my children in the basement with his in-laws. They say we're in town. And he's like, oh honey. And then he was like, you could go and hang out with so-and-so. And And I'm like, I'm not dying with so-and-so. And he was just like, okay, got it. And it was, it was awful. And there were a lot of tornadoes in our area and some people had some major shit going on, but, um, I will Mm -hmm. be posting the picture of me in the tub uh, which is what I thought was going to be my last selfie. So I made sure it was like decent. Nice. Brian, do you have I'm curious to what, I mean, I know we don't really talk about our, we don't talk about our day jobs and stuff, and I don't want people see, searching that out, but I'm curious as to what people think Jenny's day job actually is, because the only thing she ever references Clients. is that I was uh-huh. meeting a client <laughs> and you're usually meeting them. Sure other places <laughs> we should take a poll <laughs> i'm just saying like you know it's uh, pretty... i like how big it is <laughs> ambiguous. <laughs> nice and ambiguous i have clients <laughs> i have clients yes, she has clients <laughs> that meet her at places <laughs> and evidently at this particular place there was a yeah. hot tub and you don't let them know in your never. car you know that mm-hmm. from so um yeah we'll we'll do a little uh yeah um yeah no <laughs> no we won't we won't do it we'll at do all. a little, little yeah, yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah um it got it got it got real bad so anyway uh follow us on it got weird pod on gmail twitter facebook rate review and subscribe on iTunes Spreaker um, because although we have a new iHeartRadio follow, we're not accepted on iHeartRadio just yet because um, they don't think we have enough followers. So go ahead. Yeah, it's okay. I'm I'm working it out. And you know what? Hey, it doesn't matter. I mean, if State Farm's going to come through (laughs) or Netflix is going to come through, then we really don't need iHeart. But hey, iHeart, if you want to go ahead and allow us to to promote you, (laughs) go ahead. Absolutely. Absolutely. We need iHeart. God, I wish we were five into (laughs) those drinks at this point, Jenny. Hey, Matt, (laughs) um, work your magic because I know you like us. So. Mm-hmm. Matt from iHeart. Like we love I you. iHeart Matt from iHeart. We absolutely yeah, need you. We know you. We know you're liking what you're you. seeing. So just, you know, go. Slash hearing. We'll put that little, we'll put that little iHeart logo on mm-hmm. all of our Instagram posts. <laughs> yeah. We'll put it as a watermark. <laughs> We've got it going on. Uh, it. Brian, who are we unofficially sponsored by? Unofficially sponsored. I have no idea what this is. 
Mizan All in One Snail Repair Cream is our sponsor today. No doubt you've heard about the benefits of snail cream, but this particular snail cream, which is made from 92% mucus from snail slime, can promote skin repair, improve elasticity, and even help with blemishes and acne scars. According to the thousands of reviews, this cream is more yay than yuck. Okay. Delicious. Cassie, <laughs> I know, I know I'm what? trying to promote you to have a little Dutch baby. But when I I saw this snail cream, I thought it was for like a snail trail preventative. Oh, your face. I love you. It's okay. Just keep Um, going down the like procreation route, but you're supposed to put this on your face and not in your badge. I believe it's for your face. Send me a link. Mm -hmm. Not into your I thought cum was supposed to help your face. Uh, That's been a big rumor. That is something that men have said for eons. Yeah, for that's the big one. You don't think it helps? That's the big one. No, I don't think it helps. I think that we need more data on this. I think I'm on my face, so I can't really get more data on on it, but. Brian, get that. <laughs> I just saw your face. <laughs> I want you to wipe that whole. S- just take all That's that out. What she said. <laughs> I don't no, know that I can. <laughs> yes, you I can. think it has That's to stay. That's your job. Take it out. <laughs> I think that has it's to stay. In. Take it in. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's not only in, that's probably on Instagram. <laughs> that's like going to be a sound snippet. Some of the few times I've seen your jaw drop. That was definitely <laughs> oh, a jaw drop. Good. Um, we're going to go ahead and get into <laughs> Confessions of Weird while uh, Cassie uh, recoups, drinks oh, some God. more vinegar. Uh, but this Confessions <laughs> of Weird is brought to us by Mark. He is also um, our listener number five. So this has to do with our peen episode. Oh, yes. So hello, ladies. Awesome. Yeah, shout out to Mark. Hello, shout ladies. Mark. Producer Brian. After listening to the latest podcast, I felt urged to share this story with you. I was taking my daughter squirrel <laughs> squirrel hunting. Okay. I, uh, okay. Sorry, I'm having a hard time with that one. And we were going to spend the night at my in-laws trailer so we would be closer to the lease in the morning the fact that you have a hunting lease specific for squirrels no judgment okay so we stopped no sonic along the way and we both got a root 44 soda which i assume is 44 ounces which is huge um this is important for the story i told my daughter to make sure she kept that big up oh no when she asked why i explained to her that the trailer had been winterized and we would have no running water (laughs) Mm. i wonder how old she was so no way to use the toilet and flush (laughs) yeah got that part she would need to use the cup to pee in unless she wanted to pee outside she opted for the cup the next morning that route 44 cup came in real handy Sus- subscriber number five out um, i i get that at least he was thinking ahead and I, I yeah what's the big deal that's i don't true. understand no, like you gotta pee that you gotta pee yeah i I think I'm gonna be, uh, while driving. Really? Would you? Did you? Did you pour it out of the window? Yeah. Um, I poured it out whenever I came to a stop, but I had like a Gatorade bottle sitting there, and you know, you're driving on a long trip. You just, Fuck you. you know, it's great being at a guy. Got our own little. Yeah, you have an advantage hmm. there. Yeah. But at least he lit, went with the Route 44 cup, the big <laughs> opening there. So it yeah. was more comfortable. I really wonder was how smart. old she was. And I want to know smart. how many I, squirrel they shot. And 
Is it squirrel or squirrels? Whatever. Fuck you. 